You know, if someone said to Tony Stewart before his race the other day, hey, Tony, break a leg. Well, he did. Tesla wants to all-wheel drive their Model S. Guess who's back? Back again. Maybe the Chevy Trailblazer, Max. Oh, wow. Yeah. Also, VW will update its diesel engine for 2015 and a YouTube car. Hmm. What's poppin', everybody? I'm Derek D, and this is Fast Lane Daily, like a boss. Boss. All right, listen up, real quick. If you didn't see our FLD Tours relaunch episode yesterday with our 2013 Mazda Speed 3, make sure you head over to fldtours.com and check it out. We'll throw a link in the description too. All right, on to the news. VW has revealed a replacement engine for its current 2-liter TDI clean diesel or turbo diesel. I mean, you could say it either way, whichever sounds cooler for you. But they will replace that engine for the 2015 model year. The reason for the new engine is pretty obvious. You get some better fuel economy, reduced emissions, a bit more power, and yeah, you know, all those type of things. The 2015 TDI will make 10 more horses than the current version, so that's 150 of these. <laughs> and 236 pound-feet of torque. The Passat, Jetta, Golf, Beetle can all be configured with the new engine when it becomes available. I can hear your excitement from here. In related news, this chick was like, did someone say diesel? Uh, yeah, I meant diesel engine, not Jack Diesel bodybuilder chick. Gross. She's one of the good ones. Yeah. So you can imagine. She's a keeper. Yeah. Jacked. The latest reports, and uh, yeah, we have access to that kind of latest report information because we're what, Erica? Fast and fresh. You're damn right. Anyway, Chevy looks to be prepared a new U.S. vehicle launch. Well, not new per se, but more as a return back to the U.S. The Chevy Trailblazer is currently sold in the global market, but it will be relaunched here in the States. Chevy currently sells the Equinox, Traverse, Tahoe, and Suburban as its SUV slash crossover options. So the Trailblazer would likely slot just above the Equinox and would use engines from the new Colorado pickup. In related news that you absolutely don't care about, my brother drives a blue 2005 Trailblazer. He wants to get rid of it. How much does he want for it? I don't know. Okay. I think he owes more than it's, than it's even worth. Tesla is just reeling in the sales from its acclaimed sexy Model S EV sports car, and now the automaker wants to add a new all-wheel drive version and we could see that all-wheel drive model as soon as next year, available in the ultra premium trim. Well, excuse me, ultra premium. Yeah. Zero to 60 acceleration is expected to be around, what do you think, Max? 2.3 seconds. No, 4.2 seconds or less. So maybe that. Tesla also plans to offer all-wheel drive on less expensive Model S versions later on, as well as the upcoming Model X crossover. And apparently, there's a new motto at Tesla called the Musk Must. For example, when someone says, hey, Elon, what about an all-wheel drive version? He simply said, it's a Musk Must. Yeah, that's why he made it. That's why he made it. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you NASCAR fans probably heard this already, but racing vet Tony Stewart was hospitalized with a broken leg after a crash during a sprint car race at the Southern Iowa Speedway. That means Stewart will be absent during this weekend's Sprint Cup race at Watkins Glen. Josh Higday's car spun on turn four and crashed into Tony Stewart, including Tasker Phillips and Tony Schilling. A lot of Tonys, a lot of T's. Big Tone. Big Tone. Anthony Tony. Yeah. Stewart was the only one who uh, suffered any injury. So get better, Tony. Hey, Tony, you gotta get better. Get better back on the road. You ever drive those NASCAR cars all over the place, all right? All right, Oak? <laughs> So as you FLD fans may or may not know, I do a lot of work with the folks over at Barely Political and Key of Awesome. So my buddies over there, Mark, Todd, Brian, and the crew, did a video for YouTube Geek Week called CarTube. Basically, it's a YouTube car. And as Todd says here, We start with a car, and then add YouTube yeah, to it. Start with a the car, then they add YouTube to it. Windows become screens, lock buttons become like buttons, and they have conveniently removed the rearview mirror for car blogging while driving. But don't worry, it's super safe. And for those of you who are like, wait, is this real? You're an idiot. It's not. But it is pretty damn funny. Chickity check the whole thing in the link in the description if you want to watch it. I'd like to get that thing on a dyno. Yeah, see what it's putting down in YouTube horsepower? <laughs> Tube power? I don't know. Yeah, U power. 
Well, time to say goodbye to Thursday, August 8th, Fast Lane Daily. I'm Derek D. FastLaneDaily.com is our official site. Twitter. Facebook. YouTube, iTunes, Instagram, T-shirts, FD, App, and Vine. Like a bounce. Nice. Erica, say it. Bounce. Okay, do it again. Like a bounce. Oh. And then there it is. Yep. <laughs> there it is, AK. What can I say? So your brother's trying to sell that trailblazer, and yeah. your brother, Bob Schumann, you know, he, he sells cars. <laughs> <laughs> is your brother Bob Schumann? <laughs> yeah, so why don't you introduce your brother to Bob Schumann? He could sell your, his car. <laughs> so Derek, why don't you introduce your brother to Bob Schumann? That's actually not a bad idea. Schumann sells cars, maybe get it off his hands. Right. Right. Oh, maybe I should do a little intro there. I heard that you do a great Bob Schumann impression. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Hey about it. Hey about it. No. It's a. I guess it's off. Hey the about eight. it. <laughs> hey, hey about it. Hey. Hey. I don't know. So I, I'm a little more guttural. Yeah. I feel like it's more of like hey about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're living in the fast lane.